Look what he made me do. I met somebody new. Ooh, baby, baby, I'm dating with another stranger. Hey, strangers. So, it's been a long time since I've done a... Sorry, I'm trying to fix this. Since I've done a Dating with a Stranger segment, it's been at least almost a couple months. But the story I'm going to share with you guys, um, it's been long overdue. It's been like at least a good year now, and hopefully I still have the memory refreshed in my head. I just thought, yo, my makeup be looking goody goody, so might as well do a video, you know? Just to explain this whole thing, um, I'm cat sitting right now, and long story short, little pussy wanted to go run outside and play, so me being the caring mother that I am, I was like, okay, let's go outside and play. So it was like late at night, she goes outside, she got scared because somebody was throwing garbage, and then later I went to grab her, and because the garbage chute makes that loud clingy noise, bam scratched me it was worse before but it's actually healing really well and fun fact very off topic but this is a scar from my older cat lana and t plot twist the cat i'm sitting for her name's lana too lana del rey let's go on with this story I really hope that this person doesn't stumble across my dating thing because when we met maybe i i'm not gonna spoil it okay so to start off, this all began because I went on a birthday trip with my best friend Alex. And if you guys are new to, to this channel and you are tuning in, welcome. My name is Soapy, Soapy the Strange. You guys are my strangers. So we went to Montreal, you know, the closest thing to the city of love here in Canada because Paris is where people go to fall in love. That's what they say. Me and my best friend, we were planning to do our first like solo trip together as best friends and we were hoping to do, do this every year. But of course, COVID-19 happened, so hence why. But when we went, uh, when we were on our way to Quebec, I was really excited because first of all, we were going to stay with his, uh, Alex's dad because Alex's dad lives there. So me being the crazy person that I am, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just swipe on Tinder to see what kind of mans they have in Montreal. I'm swiping left and right and shit. And then I stumbled across this one person. And, you know, I didn't really think much of it. I was just more like, you know, why not talk to somebody new? I'm not going to be here for any longer. I think we stayed in Montreal for like maybe two weeks. Um, so yeah, I was talking to this person for like maybe a good four days. And um, the first couple days, me and Alex, we stayed at a hotel because we wanted to go party and, you know, like enjoy the nightlife. So it was nice to talk to somebody during that time, um, just getting to know them and just getting to know their city. And I wasn't planning on meeting them. Like, I really wasn't. We stayed in uh, Montreal downtown for at least the weekend, right? So then later, before the weekend ended, Alex wanted to go clubbing. So this person, he's like, hey, because you're closer to where I live, would you be down to, like, meet up and go for a date? And during this time, I think it was during the NBA finals. So I was like, yeah, if you could, like, are you down to go to a bar just so we could, like, watch the basketball game and, you know, just get to know one another? So he's like, yeah, yeah, sure, that sounds good. So I was nervous, so then I told Alex, I'm like, hey, um, so I got a date. And then he's like, what, you got a date? I want to get a date. So I'm like, okay, well, go on, go on swiping, man. Like, you get a date, I get a date. It was like Oprah Winfrey. I was like, okay, I'm going to go on my date tonight. He, uh, Alex, on the day of the date, Alex had a date as well. So throughout the whole day, I was like, hey, Alex, we need to plan this. Like, you got to meet up with your date. I got to somehow meet up with mine and then we can meet each other later that night and then we can go over to your pops. While Alex was on his date, you know, I'm doing my own thing and then later my date was like, hey, let's meet up. So I became a third wheel with Alex and his date because I guess they kicked it off really well. Um, so then later when we were walking around downtown and stuff, it was during Pride Week too, I think. There was some sort of festival going on downtown. So uh, me... Alex and his date we were walking around downtown and then later um, my date was ready so <laughs> oh my god this sounds horrible and he was like oh where are you at in downtown like so then I can meet up with you and pick you up so then you know Alex and his date brings me over to this guy's car and my first impression was wow you know he drives I think it was a BMW 
drives a pretty swanky car. Um, and then I looked over, he, he's cute too, so I was like, okay, check, check. I was scared, but then, you know, because we talked for a couple of days prior, I was like, whatever, and I, me and Alex had a set plan. So then, on the date, we basically went to a bar, um, drank a couple of drinks, um, watched the basketball game. It was nice, but the only thing was that it was so loud that I was like, oh my god, like, I, you know, it was way too loud. And later, um, when we finished being at the bar, I think they were closing up, um, he he has his own company, so he owns his own company in the medical field, um, so he was like, oh if you want because at this point i didn't know where alex was because he i think he was still busy with his date and then somehow i told him hey don't worry about it my date is gonna drive me over back to your dad's place because alex's date also drives too so alex's date is gonna drive alex back home so then that means i would have to find a way home meaning my date will have to bring me to alex's dad sorry if this if you're not keeping up it's been so long so then later I told him like, hey, are you cool if you like drive me home? And then, he, you know, he was like, yeah, of course. But first he had to go charge his car and check on his cars because um, it, within his company, it has to do with like transporting certain medications and stuff like that. So, and they're all electric cars. So I don't know if this was a flex move, but it worked. Um, we went over to one of his um, residents and then later, yeah, I think he had like a huge, huge Mercedes van it was crazy um, and then he had like three or four other like BMWs or Mercedes one of those cars and he was showing me how one of the cars can parallel park on its own I was like I don't know if you're showing off but the way he was showing me all these was very humble it wasn't very it wasn't like look what I have like me you know so I thought that was so cool and then he showed me the inside of the van, showed me like what he does and stuff and during like the car ride he would be talking and calling his coworkers, and it was nice. So then I thought to myself, I'm like, you know, this is wild, you know, like I don't know when's my next time I'm going to be able to do this and I'm sorry if like my family members are watching this but this is a story time and I'm here, that's all that matters. Can we go to my place first? And I'm like, yeah, of course, um, is it cool if I use the restroom? So then he's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So as I'm using the restroom, I start thinking like, hmm, where's Alex at? And I think somewhere along the lines, Alex was still out. So in my mind, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to stay over. Kind of crazy, but I want to stay over at this guy's house. So then I got out of the washroom and then later he, he was just like, are you ready to go? And then I'm like, like, I know this sounds crazy and probably really irresponsible, but like, is it cool if I stay over and then tomorrow you can drive me back? He's like, oh yeah, like, yeah, if you're okay with that, that's totally fine. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, I hope you don't think I'm weird. It's just, this is a once in a lifetime thing. And I just, I don't know, I have this like aura about you that I feel like I can trust you. Later, he's just like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you're cool with it, like I'm cool with it. So then we started taking like um, a couple shots i think he got me to try like um certain shots from different areas i don't i don't even remember the drink and then later um yeah like we just started laying in his bed we talked till like 4 a.m before i forget he did mention like like you know i talked about how i do youtube and stuff and how i do dating segments and then he's like oh am i gonna be youtube famous so not necessarily because i don't have that much views and subscribers but here's your big break boy it was insane. We were just talking about like our careers, like what we want out of life. And I think that was one of the things that I liked about him, but also something that kind of created a downfall was that he was very um, career ambitious and like he was very driven with work. So though I admired that for him, I felt like at the end, which I'll explain later, it just didn't work out and it didn't work out for both of us. So, you know, we talked till 4 a.m. and then later we laid down and you could tell the tension was there. There was tension and, you know, yeah. So <laughs> he was just like, you know, I'm not going to do anything to you. And, you know, like I really like you as a person and just hearing about your like hopes and dreams. It made me really want what's best for you. And whatever happens tonight, like I just, you're, you can take the lead. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to respect you. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. So we like laid down and then like it got quiet for a bit. And I'm like, oh my God, 
oh my god so like what am I gonna do and this is crazy because I, I this is probably the, gonna be the one of the most open I will be but it's just it's such a good story you know but more happened that night than not things happened but that's all I'll say um I just thought YOLO it is what it is but I was just like fast forward to the next day um he drove me back to Alex's place things were great and then later um during that whole week so I think we had like four or five days left he told me that he did want to see me for sure he wanted to like um hang out again and obviously like me I took it as fling you know like it's one t once in a lifetime thing um I have no regrets like, you know I I didn't want to gain feelings because I knew what I was putting myself into and I just needed to like live life for a little bit so yeah like I told him like honestly no stress like I had fun getting to know you and like I'm sure for some reason in my life like there was a reason why I met you so that's it um we continued talking throughout my whole trip there and then later eventually I think on the day before I left Montreal like he did drive down to Alex's dad's place and then we talked like we were just chatting in the car and he was just saying like how like he really does want to see me again and he really wants to get to know me more and he hopes that we still connect um at, even after the trip so you know I wasn't sad about it or anything like that I was just more like whatever like I knew like I cared about him and I'm glad that we we're like you know we stayed in touch but when I came back things were fine like we still talked we still kept in touch but I still told him I was like you know like um, I did what I did, yes, but I did tell you that, like, I came with the mindset of just meeting somebody new, um, no attachments, but I could tell, and he might beg to differ, but I could tell that there were underlying feelings there, you know, he would joke around about, like, wanting to meet my parents someday, or, like, you know, all that stuff, but while we were talking, I think one of the things that kind of clashed was he was very like, oh, so what are you going to do with your career? I think you should uh, leave this job and then later, you know, do this. And for me, like, as much as I appreciate the constructive criticism and I appreciate people who care about me and want the best for me, I find that I just like doing trial and error on my own terms. And it is being stubborn. I'm not going to lie. That's a flaw in, in myself. And I um, acknowledge that. But it's... You know a lot of people don't like being told what to do and I'm pretty sure like the reason why he got to where he is you know he he somehow in his gut wanted to do it for himself so eventually you know he started um, telling me about a book that he read um, he told me I should get it and then you know I did listen to it on YouTube it was like an audio book and that but then later on coming weeks he'd be like so did, did you read it yet what did you take from it and I you know I just felt like there was like a timeline for me and I felt like if inside of me I don't really want to do it I don't want to pretend like I want to do it and that's one of the things um, when you like somebody um, they should change you for the better which I felt like even though he wanted to change me for the better I didn't feel that confidence to if that makes sense or I didn't feel that strive to yeah, I think that makes sense because I feel like there were times in the past where I really liked it somebody so much or I was in a relationship and I love them so much that I really did want to do better for the both of us. But because I didn't feel that with him, I just felt like our chemistry wasn't balanced. It wasn't meeting eye to eye. So eventually like his texts became like he called me a couple times, which was really sweet. But then I started questioning like what was the point of me? Um, talking to him in a way where there could be a future if I didn't f truly feel that <sighs> so eventually um, you know I think me and Alex went on this trip in May and then later come Canada Day he messages me and was like oh hey I'm thinking of coming down literally it was like you know that screechy noise when a car hits the brakes that's basically the noise that was in my head I'm like what like this guy wants to come on Canada Day and mind you it is like a six hour almost a nine hour drive so I was just like are you sure and then he's like yeah it's because like somebody in my family like their health isn't doing that well so also they live like really close to where you are so I just thought might as well like visit you too and I'm like well if 
it's for family first and then me okay but i don't want you to come down here to risk because me i think about like i overthink it if you're driving here i think about your safety of getting to here and just everything and i'm that type with anybody if they want to go bend over backwards for me i get scared because i worry about their safety as long as they're okay with it anyways so he's like yeah yeah like i really want to come but if you're cool with it can i sleep over like you know for two nights and hang out three days whatever i'm like oh yeah sure it's just that i work on one of the days but if you're cool with it yeah so my dude is like saying oh you know i got like this really nice souped up car and you're gonna see me and like he he was really excited i was excited too but i wasn't sure what to expect from him so then he i think he got here at like around 12 a.m near canada day and then later it was a souped up car like you could tell it was not from here so we were trying to find parking we finally found it and then later yeah we slept over don't have to go into detail um and then later the next day um i think we i had work yeah i had work so then he chilled with his um family he went fishing and all that stuff and then later came back we made dinner together and then it was nice you know like it was kind of like old times and, and you know i was still attracted to him and he was great um but again i still didn't feel that mm, i can see a future with this person because i told him many times i cannot see myself living anywhere further from my family first of all and i can't see myself moving for another person um just because my past relationship i i'm here because of a relationship a past relationship you know so yeah like the trip went really well and then later it was gonna be his like it was gonna be his birthday the next following weeks so on his last day i got him like a um, reusable water bottle just as a surprise and then i gift wrapped it and then i kept it in like the back seat and me this is just what i do one of my languages of love it doesn't have to be romantically it could be friendship or whatever i love gift giving and the gifts that i give it has to have some sort of sentiment in it so yeah i got him a water bottle because he kept saying how like he needs to drink more water and stuff and then later um on the day he left this car was a rental so i was just like hey just letting you know like before you give the car back um make sure you double check the back seat make sure you have all your stuff and then later he was just like, oh, no, 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 like, it's fine. I don't think there's anything. I'm like, no, 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 please, like, make sure you check. I think I saw something back there. So then he messages me. He's like, oh, my God, what is this? Like, oh, my God, you didn't have to. And then I told him it's for your early birthday gift. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to come drive down here and see me and all that stuff. So then later, you know, that really touched his heart. And he was like, okay, well, you know what? Because you got this for my birthday i'm gonna live up to my name and it'll make sense i'll live up to my name because it means romance and stuff um on your birthday even if we don't talk or not i am gonna do something for you and i'm like no 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 mind you this is july my birthday's in november that's gonna be a good time span and chances are we're probably not gonna be as close as we were you know like i just knew that it's not gonna work out for that long so I told him, look, like, I really like your company and stuff like that. But to be honest, I just don't see a future with both of us. And I'm very honest in that sense. Like, I'm going to tell you the truth. If I don't like you that way, then I'm going to tell you because I don't like leading people on. So, you know, I ended up telling him that. And then he's just like, oh, yeah, yeah I knew that. You told me that so many times and don't worry. But I'm for real, like on your birthday, I'm going to do something for you. So I was like, oh God, I really hope not. So come weeks, you know, um, we eventually kind of like lost touch. I, I, I'd say I take full responsibility for that. You know, I just didn't want to pull something, you know, or like reel something in if I know I'm not going to get the catch, if that makes sense. So a couple months go by and I'm just like, okay, like I don't think we're going to continue this and I was fine with it I wasn't sad about it and that's when I started to question like what am I looking for you know like just in, like in my last dating video like I I'm ready for a relationship but it's really hard for me to finally be content and be happy with somebody um just because I'm not confident in myself and I'm not confident if they like me enough so it's weird it's really weird and I'm still going through it I'm November I was kind of curious I'm like mm, what if what if this dude 
messages, you know? Like, I just don't know. On the week of my birthday, I get a text from my coworker, and I still have the print screens on here because I have to read it to you guys. So she goes, oh my God, Sophie. I was like, what, what? She's like, I need to tell you something, but I don't know if you want, want it to be a surprise. I'm like, what the hell? Give me a hint. I said, okay, first off, is it your birthday tomorrow? And I'm like, yes. And none of my coworkers know when my birthday is, so that's when I knew right away it was him. She's like, okay, so um, I was just on the phone with someone. I'm like, oh God, was it? And then she's like, she puts laugh out loud. I'm like, no, you're lying. She's like, I'm trying to be subtle. I'm like, fuck. And then she's like, do you want the answer? I'm like, girl, what the fuck? Okay, yes, tell me. She's like, yes. I'm like, what the hell? She goes, had a full on 20 minute conversation with him. And I'm like, did you lie that I don't work there anymore? Oh my God, what did he say? Jesus Christ. And then I was just scared because I, I, I didn't know if he's going to pop out of nowhere. And mind you, we didn't talk for like a couple months from now. Like we didn't talk for like at least four or five months. So I was kind of surprised that he would even call my workplace on top of that. <sighs> so then later, yeah, like my coworker was like, yeah, I saw his name on the phone. And then he asked if you were working and I, you know, I was thinking, who the heck is this person? And then my coworker was like, he's not coming, but he's getting something delivered. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? And then she's just like, I'm sorry. I didn't say you were working. I said that I was and that I could get it to you, whatever it was. So then um, she said, I just figured it would be better to tell you. I didn't want you to not be prepared. I'm sorry, did I screw up? He called the home store because I work in a home store and a gift store. So she's like, I called, um, he called the home decor store and they said that you were working here tomorrow, which whoever said that, you shouldn't have. <laughs> and then later, uh, yeah, so that's what happened. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm kind of scared. And then she's like, yeah, I thought I was a bit weird. He was pretty intense on the phone about you. Um, and then she's like, don't be scared though. It was very genuine. He kept saying he's your friend and wants to do something nice and he's living up to his name. And then uh, she was just lying. She was just being a troll saying, you can say that it wasn't fully delivered or like you can just say that it got screwed up or whatever, but he is expecting me to call him when the delivery happens. At that point, I'm like, okay, very sweet, but also we haven't talked for a couple months and it would be nice. I would have rather appreciate it if he just like messaged me and said, hey, I know it's your birthday tomorrow and like I'm just living up to my name, but because we haven't talked in a while, I just wanted to say happy birthday. That would have been enough. But the fact that he called like my workplace and I don't even, I don't really, I never gave him my work number. That's the scary part. He knew sort of where I worked because he picked me up um, when he visited back in July. But the fact that he remembered the name is, I was kind of like, come my birthday, the big day. I was honestly on my toes. Like I, was, I went to the store. I was scared that he might've popped out. I don't know where or whatever, but he didn't, thank God. So then later, I'm like legit scared because I'm expecting a delivery. I don't know how to react. I don't know if he's going to deliver it. But luckily, the coworker that dealt with it, she was going to work with me. So I'm like, hey, girl, if this thing comes, can you pretend it's for you? Because I don't know how I'm going to react. So, you know, we're working, working away. And then all of a sudden, this is a huge hint to what his name is. The flowers the edible arrangements come in the door. Balloons, helium balloons, okay? And comes in the door and all I hear is, I'm, my back is towards the door and then my coworker is like, good God. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then this song plays. <laughs> Can't play the whole song because I, I don't want to get demonetized, but if you guys know who sings that song, Lil... It's just so fitting because that's his name. That's his name. Um, if you guys still don't know, it's basically it's Wherefore Art Thou Blank. And if you guys don't know Shakespeare, search that up. But yeah, that out of all the songs in the Spotify, this song plays and it's an old ass song. So somehow in the universe, it's taunting me. And I my face was like pitch red. I'm like, oh my God, this is not happening, right? So then later, my coworker is laughing. She's like, wow, wow. And she grabs it. She's like, thank you. And then the guy was like, 
message for Sophie. I'm like, oh my God. I'm very grateful. I was very happy about it. I didn't know how to react again because we haven't talked for a couple months. And I wanna know how would you guys have reacted? And if you guys are still watching, long ass video, I'm sorry. But I was just shocked. I'm like, what the fuck? At this point, you know, I shared the goodies with my coworkers and I was really touched by it. But it's the fact that we haven't talked for so many months and it was just the timing, the place. And we, you know, we weren't tight like that, right? So I just didn't know how to feel. And I felt like, what if he's just doing this? Maybe because he is kind and I don't want to assume the worst, but also what if he's just doing this just to live up to his name, right? Um, so that night I did message him. I was like, hey, like, I don't want this to go unnoticed. Like, I really appreciate like all that you've done, but you really didn't have to, especially because we haven't talked in a while. Um, but I really appreciate it. And then, you know, like we talked for a little bit, but after that, I just felt like, you know, you know, sometimes when somebody is just so good and I have no complaints about them, it's just that they're priorities in life wasn't the same as mine and I don't want to be a disappointment to somebody if I'm just being me if I'm doing mediocre things that I feel like is a success on its own I don't want the person that's with me to feel like I'm dragging them down and I'm pretty sure he didn't feel like that but I just felt like we didn't connect professionally um, or career-wise you know I haven't talked to this person in a while um, with my mother like passing if you guys know um, my mom did pass um, a couple of months ago, he did reach out that time and I just felt like, I don't know, I just didn't want to talk to him about something personal like that, especially because we haven't talked in a while. And my main advice is that even if somebody is really good, I wouldn't, lack of a better word, don't settle for less. I'm not calling the other person less, but don't settle for something that uh, or someone rather that you just feel like is a safe route you know don't settle for somebody just because you feel like you're at a time crunch do it when you fully feel like you're at your limit not limit when you feel like it's right because i'm not gonna lie there are people out there like you know who ask me like oh you're not dating anybody right now or like oh like why aren't you should like consider like dating this person or that person and honestly I'm pretty damn sure that nobody forced you to date whoever you're with right now, you know? It all takes time and it's okay to feel lonely sometimes. It's okay to feel like, oh, maybe this person might be it. But honestly, just let time take its course. Go with the flow and understand that life is going to bring you to this person, whoever they may be. And just trust it. Just focus on yourself. If you feel like you can't even take care of yourself that well if you feel like you know something in you is very insecure work on yourself first and trust me you're gonna be able to project that love that you have for yourself onto somebody else so as RuPaul says but I'm not gonna go with that anyways long ass video hopefully you guys didn't mind it um hopefully it made sense and I didn't leave anything important out but yeah that's basically my main lesson and I have I think I have another dating story for you guys, but it's been quite a long and I know there's a lot of things going on in the world right now and um, I would say my piece about it, but I just wanted to bring a little pass from the past, from the blast, wow, blast from the past, just to kind of lighten up life a little bit, you know what I mean? Like there's just so much going around with life, we just gotta see the bigger picture, we gotta really celebrate every day for what it gives you and just hope that the world becomes a better place that's all i'm gonna say about that um but hopefully you guys like this video i try to post a beauty video and a vlogging video once per week and also i try to chime in a dating story here and there but as always i like talking to myself that's not a lie if you like what you see hit subscribe